Hi guys, in this video we'll set up a workflow on GitHub Actions that will build and push a Docker image to Google Cloud Artifact Registry. You'll need just three things, a Google Cloud account with activated billing, an application with Docker file, and a GitHub repository with admin access. I've split this video into four parts. In the first part we'll prepare everything on Google Cloud and GitHub. In the second part we'll implement a more naive pipeline without caching or fancy versioning. Next, we'll add caching on top of that, so the docker build command can reuse the layers that it's already built. And finally, we'll add versions to the images based on the git tags. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna need a service account key. Service accounts are what Google uses to authorize requests from clients. To create one, go to Google Cloud's console and search for service accounts. Open the first result and click create service account. Give it a name, I'm gonna call mine GitHub Actions, and click Continue. What comes next is very important. You need to select the role Artifact Registry Repository Administrator. Without it, clients authorized by this service account won't be able to push images to the registry. And after you've done that, click Done. Next, we need to generate and download a JSON key that we will use in our workflow for authorization. Open this newly created service account, go to Keys, Add Key, Create New Key, JSON, and then Create. After that we're gonna go to the GitHub repository where we want to set up the workflow, go to Settings, Secrets and Variables, Actions, New Repository Secret. I'm gonna call it GC Image Manager Key. And here I'm gonna paste the content of the JSON key that I've just downloaded. And finally, click Add Secret. Alright, now that we've prepared GitHub, let's go back to Google Cloud and create an image repository. Just search for Artifact Registry, select the first result, click Create Repository, give it a name, select your region. You can optionally choose another cleanup policy and then click Create. Okay, looks like we've prepared all the required resources. Now let's open up our project and start to create a workflow file. Before you proceed, make sure you can build a Docker image locally. To check it, I run sudo docker buildx build period dash t and the name of the image. And seems like it builds properly. Now let's create a workflow file. It should be located at .github workflows. You can come up with a name. I'm gonna call mine buildpush.yaml. First of all, we're setting the name of the workflow. Then we specify that we want it to be triggered on each push to main. Next, we're setting the environment variables. You can find the values for region, project, and repo by checking your image repository on Google Cloud. For example, this is what my values look like. And the value for image is arbitrary. Just make sure it adheres to Docker image name syntax. I call my image demo one. Here we're going to define the jobs that will run in this workflow. Jobs consist of steps and run in parallel, whereas steps run sequentially. Here we're going to have only one job, I'm going to call it build push. Then we specify that it runs on Ubuntu. And now let's define the steps. In the first step we download the code of the repository to the runner. After that we compose the final image name out of the variables specified earlier and save this value as an environment variable called image tag. Based on my variables, this value will look something like this. In the next step, we authenticate to Google Cloud using the secret that we've added in the beginning. Make sure you spell the name correctly, mine is called GC Image Manager Key. After that, we set up the Google Cloud SDK. Then we kind of configure Docker for Google Cloud on the runner. And finally, we build and push the image to the image repository on Google Cloud. Notice how we use this image tag variable computed in step 2. Now let's push the changes and see how it worked. Just go to your repository and click on this orange dot right after the commit message. This might take a while, so let's speed up the video to not waste your time. After the job's done, go to your image repository on Google Cloud and check if the image was pushed successfully. And if you see your image here, congratulations, it's a good sign. Although we've achieved quite a lot in these few minutes, this workflow still has a huge problem. And the problem is that we don't take advantage of the Docker cache. So every time we change anything in our project, a completely new image is gonna be built. And this is not really what we want, because we want to reuse as much as possible. Luckily, the fix is very simple. 
Right before the build step, we're going to need an additional step to set up BuildX. BuildX brings extended build capabilities, as Docker Docs describe it, and we're going to need it for the cache to work, so let's add it. We're also going to need to modify the width object in the last step. We just need to set where our cache is coming from and where it's safe to. Here we need to specify the type. It's GHA for GitHub Actions. I don't really know what the mode property is for, but I found it in an example in the docs, so I didn't really question it. Now let's push the changes and check the workflow. I'll speed up the video a bit. And as you can see here, some things are loading from the cache, that's also a good sign. Also, if you compare it to the previous runs, you'll notice that it takes way less time. In my case, I went from 6 minutes to just 1 minute. Of course, this difference is based on how many layers Docker has to rebuild. If it has to rebuild the whole image, it's still gonna take about 6 minutes. Alright, so far so good. Now we're gonna implement image versioning based on git tags. That's also quite straightforward. First, we wanna make the workflow run only if a new tag was created. And then we're gonna retrieve the tag name and append it to the image name after a colon. Okay, let's push. And as you can see, the workflow wasn't triggered because we didn't create a new tag. Now let's create a tag and check again if it works. If I refresh the page now, there's a new workflow running, everything looks the same. But if we check the image repository, we can see that the specified tag is now added to our image. So that's pretty much it. This is how I build and push images to Google Cloud Artifact Registry. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.